Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for ANSYS Granta EduPack. In this video, we'll be introducing the part cost estimator model within the synthesizer tool and demonstrating how it can be used to predict the cost of parts. The synthesizer tool takes data records from Granta EduPack and synthesizes them using different models to predict new records that can be used for screening. This tool was originally developed to predict the properties of hybrid materials. However, other models now exist to predict additional properties. In today's video, we'll be going over how the part cost estimator model can be used to explore the cost of manufacture in early stages of design, depending on the materials and fabrication methods needed for the product. Separate tutorials exist for the other models within the synthesizer tool, and those can be found on our ANSYS Learning YouTube channel. Please note that the synthesizer tool is an advanced feature within Granta EduPack and can only be found in the advanced level three subject databases. This tool is not found in the introductory version of Granta EduPack, which does not contain these databases. Please choose your database carefully, depending on the level of information needed for a particular project or assignment. Let's explore the part cost estimator using the level three sustainability database. We can find the synthesizer tool in the main toolbar here. Clicking the button opens a new window, showing the available models grouped together by type. We have seven models in this tool. Battery designer, cellular structures, composites with simple bounds, controlled thermal expansion, cost, multi-layer materials, and sandwich panels. For today's tutorial, we will focus on the part cost estimator. The hybrid material and battery designer models have separate tutorials, which can be accessed from the link in the upper right-hand corner of this window. If you need to write your own model, we produce a model writer's guide to explain how to write your own model. To demonstrate how the part cost estimator helps us explore manufacturing costs, we will use an example of a car door panel. We want to compare two different material options, the traditional material steel and the lighter alternative, a polypropylene composite. First, let's generate the part cost records for our steel door panels. Clicking the part cost model in the synthesizer window opens a new window titled part cost estimator. For additional information about this tool, click the question mark icon in the upper right hand corner. The first section highlighted is component details. We start by selecting our material by pressing the browse button. For our steel, we want something that can be cold rolled. We open the metals and alloys folder, select ferrous, micro alloy and high strength steels, drawing quality to find YS140 cold rolled steel. We can choose the value of scrap material here. For this example, we will leave it as default. Next, we can enter some part and product batch size details. Our part is five kilograms and one meter long. Our batch size we can enter as a range since the efficiency and therefore cost per part of some processes changes with batch size. For our example, we will enter from 100 to 1 million parts. We need to enter the number of values of interest within this range. This determines how many records the part cost estimator will generate. Let's use six. We can see at the bottom of the window that this model will now generate six records. Next, we move to the primary shaping process. Clicking browse opens the process record family tree opening the deformation folder and forging slash rolling, we can select cold shape rolling. The availability will be custom form, here selected by default, and the part complexity is standard. We will leave load factor, overhead rate, and capital write-off time as default. For our steel parts, we want to consider a secondary process. Clicking the tick box opens our secondary process panel. Through the browse menu, open the deformation folder, 
the sheet folder and select Press Forming. We will leave our part complexity as standard. The amount of scrap is 10% of the material, and the scrap is recycled. The final step is generating our records, is naming them. The material for this case is steel. The primary process is cold rolled, and the secondary process is pressed. When we're happy with our parameters, let's now click on Create. Once completed, the six records will automatically be saved in My Records folder, which we will look at later in the Browse tree. Click Finish to complete our modeling. We can now create another batch of records with our polypropylene composite to compare with the steel materials. Once again, we will click on the Synthesizer button in the main toolbar and open the Part Cost Estimator. We can see the inputs from our previous estimation are still in the model. We can now edit the parameters to meet our new material and processing requirements. For our material, we will select a polymer, specifically 30% glass-filled polypropylene. The part mass will change and is now 4 kilograms. And the primary shaping process will be thermoplastic injection molding. Our polymer car door panel only has one process, so we can deselect the secondary shaping process. Let's change the name of our material record to polypropylene or PP and the primary process to molded. If we click on Create, the records for our polypropylene option are now generated. To close, we click on Finish. By going to Browse, we can now see our records exist in our My Records folder here. There are six records generated for each material. By default, the records are orange. We can right-click the polypropylene molded folder to change the color of our records to blue. Now we can compare our records using the chart select function. We are interested to see which material and processing options produces cheaper car door panels. To do this, press chart slash index and select part cost estimator from the category drop down menu. For our y-axis, we are interested in the attribute cost. And for the x-axis, batch size. Click OK to generate the chart. To better visualize trends, we can use the Curve tool in the Chart toolbar to trace our curves. We can change the color of our curve for our polypropylene to blue to help visualize. We can see the polymer option in blue is cheaper for lower batch sizes, up to around 10,000. But for bigger batch sizes, steel is still the cheaper option for the car door panel. In this how-to video, we've covered how the part cost estimator model in our synthesizer tool can be used to predict the cost of different parts. More information on Grant to EduPack can be found in the description below. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.